Hey, what's going on? It's Lucas, and I'm coming at you with a very quick idea, a very quick message from this little rock, this little island I've been sitting on for like two or three hours just thinking deep in thought. Um, and this kind of popped into my head, and I really think this will serve and help, and I kind of want to unpack it or break it down. But the idea is that confidence, right? I think confidence is key. If you can have confidence and you can keep building that confidence, you can achieve anything. I think that's fair to say. The more confident you get, the you know the bigger actions you'll take, the bolder you'll be, the more risk you'll take, the more people you'll talk to, the more you'll step out of that comfort zone and believe in your own abilities. And I really think that self-belief and that confidence that comes with it is key for achieving anything in life. The next question becomes, how do we create confidence? And I think there's a lot of thought experiments and exercises and, you know, different coaching modalities and different things you could do to build your confidence. But I don't know if anything else builds confidence as much as just doing something and not necessarily succeeding in it. I think a lot of people think success is built upon or confidence is built upon, you know, doing something and succeeding and that builds confidence. But I want to take that a step further. And I really think confidence is built by doing something, failing, and realizing you're still alive, realizing you're still okay, because you're gonna fail more often times than you succeed. And if we start thinking that confidence is built upon seeing success, it's gonna take a very long time to build confidence. And you may fail three, four, five, eight, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 times before you see that massive success. And so to base confidence and self-belief on the idea that we need to succeed to build it is like, it, it's, 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 it's the wrong uh, pattern, it's the wrong thing to think about, it's the wrong thing to focus on. But if we can realize that every time we fail, we ain't dead yet. Someone laughed at us, I'm still here. Someone called you an idiot, I'm still here. Started a business, it failed, I'm still here. That's confidence. And the more you fail, the more confidence you build. Yeah, you'll see successes within it, but I truly think that confidence is built upon failing over and over and over, realizing you're still alive, learning from it, applying something and moving towards it, you will become unstoppable. I know that I failed over. I, I think about acting. I think it was like, I'd get one audition for every, or uh, one role for every 60, 70, 80 auditions. That's a lot of failure. I think business, trying to get the first clients way back in the health and fitness days. It was like fail, 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 fail. But every single time I walked out of a conversation or I walked out of a, you know, a sales call or a sales meeting, I was like, man, I'm still alive. I'm still here. I learned from it. Let me build on it and let me keep getting better. And I swear I probably fail more now than I did ever before. And, you know, on the external, it may look like, you know, we're seeing the most success we ever have. And yes, that's true. But because you build up that confidence, you're willing to fail over and over and over and look stupid and look like an idiot and have people talk shit about you and you're still here. So hopefully that serves you. Don't see failure as a bad thing. It's a stepping stone. And if you can realize like, hey, I still got my hands. I'm still breathing. I'm still looking. I can still paddleboard no matter what the hell is going on in the world, no matter how much failure I may be seeing. I'm still here. I'm still alive. I'm still breathing. And I'm ready for another round. I'm ready to go back at it. Give me your best shot, goddammit, because I'm still here. You cannot destroy me. And until the day I die, I'm going to keep swinging. Do that. You will be one confident mofo in a very short period of time. Truly hope that serves you. Check out lucasrubix.com for anything else. If you want to check out the Infinite Podcast, that's at rubixperformance.com. We talked a lot about the mental game and developing the mental game because I truly think that 90% of it is mental. Tony says that 90% is psychology. And I know I learned and I discovered that to be absolutely true. There is no way that I'd be enjoying the reality, enjoying the life, enjoying the business and enjoying all the things in my life if I didn't master and continuously master the mental game. So if you're interested in that, check out rubixperformance.com. And with that said, I'm going to let you go. We'll chat soon. So I don't know when this whole get a job, nine to five, play it safe, think small and hopefully someday retire with enough time to maybe chase my dreams became okay. But for people like you and me, it's not. I'm Lucas Rubix and welcome to The Coaching Channel, where I continue my mission of setting human beings free.